What is up guys, welcome to the Nation of Expert Gaming videos, I promised you out uh, this for today, and we have the Inform Fallout review, I did lose about 20k off him, which I was not happy about, but uh, I couldn't help that, so I built a new Liga Brazil team, uh, in there I've got Cien, absolutely sensational goalkeeper, um, Jorginho and Seedorf are in centre mids, and uh, a good old Wellington, not, I think it was non-transferred, uh, this is the kind of normal version of Wellington, as the, uh, what is it? Does he go into the Russian League? Is it or now Spartak Moscow? I think it is. He goes into. So this is the other version, and we've got quite a few clips for you. The first two games here, um, you'll see that we're both in Manu and Chelsea kit, um, and we do play two games. This is against a friend. Um, we play against. We play in loads of reviews. To be honest, you probably see his name or whatever quite a lot around, uh, with me. But we we have like quite quite even teams. I'd say it depends what sort of teams we're playing against. But we both are very kind of um, kind of kind of both similar play ability. I think both of us do win against each other. Like as in he'll beat me, I'll beat him, and uh, it's really good to play against as he just it's there, and I know that I'm not going to get like tramped and everything. But he do. I'm just saying just before people go on like oh he's just going to let you win. He doesn't let me win at all. Trust me. Um, but anyway, going on to his Forlands review, he costs him about 80k you'll get him for now, so it's pretty cheap. I think his man of the match is about that much as well, which is a bit weird how he's pretty much the same ability, uh, same price. So he is a striker, 34 years old, 5 foot 10, right footed, high attacking work rate, uh, medium defensive, 5 star weak foot, 3 star skill moves, uh, traits, tries to beat offside trap, long shot, uh, long shot taker, and outside of the foot, uh, outside of the foot shot. So. Going into some of his 90s, 92 ball control, 96 curve, 93 finishing, 93 kicks, 95 long shots, 91 penalties, 94 shot power, 95 volleys, 92 reactions. All the stats will be in the description of the link to Foothead. Um, some brilliant stats to be honest. And um, he did score a couple of goals to be fair. This was definitely, this is the last clip and this is just beautiful. Look at this inside there and smashes out and rise into the top right. That was just a beautiful goal. That that literally was the last game and the last goal he scored. That topped everything off for me. He was a very good player, I must say. I didn't enjoy his Man of the Match version purely because he was in striker. If you get Forlan in form or any something, make sure you get him in centre forward. He cannot play striker on top. He needs to be a centre forward. So originally this would be a centre forward card, but I put it as a striker just because I've got it from the team of the week. But I would say... Get him as a centre forward. He is a brilliant centre forward. I've given him a 9.0. I know it's a lot more than his man of the match, and I'll get to that at the end. Positives about him. Long shots, definitely brilliant. Dribbling, again, it's really good. Shooting, overall, I thought was really good. He, he did come up against quite a few good keepers, which didn't help his shots out, as you probably saw a lot of long shots that just got parried away. But he was a brilliant, he was a brilliant shot taker, to be honest control on the ball as well i noticed that quite a lot these pretty much positives and negatives are almost identical to, uh, to terry henry but i think um terry henry as well would be a good center forward negatives definitely is pace i'd say that's the only thing that's stopping him being a striker is that he's only got 70 pace and he feels quite slow on the ball but his other kind of attributes kind of overcloud that pace when he's in the centre forward as he gets that space. As you see, if you saw in the review from the man of the match, Fallen, he never got that much space to take that many long shots in centre forward. He has that time on the ball and he does manage to get into them spaces which allow him to take the long shots, which is perfect. Why I wouldn't let him in why I wouldn't let him in striker is just because he's too slow. And I didn't do it in his man of the match card just purely for money reasons. And I did it in this card and I took a risk and it paid off for the review to be honest. I think if he was in striker I wouldn't have liked him again. And I think it would have just been a waste of time for me again. And I would have been giving him a 7.8 review uh, rating again because he is identical to his man of the match card. I think Atani said it as well um, when he did his review. He said it was literally the same and I can definitely see that um, 100%. But I still think he is a very, very good player. So I would go ahead and pick him up. He is definitely worth it. He's only about 80k. And by the end of the week, he'll probably drop another 20. So you might as well give him a try and uh, see what he's like. So there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed the review. If you did, there's a like button down there. Please give it a like button. If not, fair enough. Um, it's only a review. And uh, I, I can understand a lot of people are getting a bit bored of FIFA videos. But I'm just trying to do whatever I can now. Um, to keep doing it. I'm bringing out new series hopefully soon. And I'll see you all again next time. Bye-bye.